Hello interwebs, welcome back to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, in this video of my Windows 10 wrangling series, I'm going to talk about build updates. So Windows is a software as a service and instead of getting service packs or big upgrades like Windows used to in the past, we get what's generally known as a build update. These generally come out in March and October every year, respectively. And generally speaking, although your computer will automatically update to the latest build when they're released, it can quite often take weeks or even months before the build update will trickle down to your computer. It's quite often to see a machine that is actually two builds out of date just because Windows Update has for some reason or other just not offered the update. Now, you don't have to be on the latest build all the time, but with every build update to Windows 10, they improve features, they add new features, and you get just other quality of life updates. So it's often well worth doing the build update yourself. And I also recommend doing this because forcing through the build update manually is the fastest way, not only the fastest way to get it as soon as possible, but also the fastest in terms of how long it actually takes the computer to upgrade. Uh, doing it manually will be quicker and you can do it at a time of your choosing, which is also important. So I'm going to show you how to push through an update manually and this will apply if you've heard that there's a new build update out and it has a particular feature that you're looking for, this video will describe how to push it through manually on your computer. So let's get into it and I'll go into more details as we go. Okay, so let's look at doing a build update on this laptop I've got in front of me. So uh, what we want to do here is an inline update. Now, if I click on start and type in W-I-N-V-E-R, so Winver, uh, it shows us the current version of Windows, which is version 1903. So that was the March update of 2019. Now we're current, as of recording this video, we're on 1909, which was the October update of 2019. So we need to build update this. So I'm going to do an inline update on this, com on this laptop. So the first thing I'm going to do is because I'm going to install from a USB flash drive, I'm going to take the laptop offline. I'm going to switch off Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is now off. Now the reason why I do this is that this speeds up the installation by skipping over any sections where it checks for updates and things like that. I don't want to do updates at the time of installing the new version of Windows. I want to get to the new version of Windows as fast as possible and then we'll do updates. So we've taken the laptop offline. And now I'm going to, I've plugged in my Windows 10 flash drive already that we made earlier. And from Explorer and this PC, I'm going to go into ESD USB and I'm going to run setup. And I'll accept the user account control. And now we've got an option to make Windows better. Always make sure that this is unticked because again, this will just slow things down. Um, it's not, you know, there's no privacy concerns or anything like that. I'm not doing this out of a tinfoil hat theory. It's just simply the less setup has to do, the faster we get to the new builder windows, which is what I'm interested in. So let's hit next to continue. And it's going to try and check for updates. In addition to going online for updates, this will also check the current status of Windows update. So if there are any pending updates to be installed on the computer, that might affect what's going on here as well. However, as you can see, we weren't stuck on that screen for very long. We've now moved on to checking your PC. So now it's going to check what version of Windows we're running, if we're eligible for the update, and so on and so forth. Okay, right. I'll accept the license agreement. And it's going to check for updates again. And then it's going to give us the option of what we want to keep on the laptop. So now we have the recap screen, which confirms what is going to happen next. So it's installing Windows 7 Professional, because that's what we're running on here, 10 Pro. The process for Windows 10 Home is exactly the same. And we're going to keep personal files and apps. So what it means by that is it's going to be an inline update. No user data will be moved or removed. The laptop will be just like it was before, except on the updated version of Windows. So obviously, as I've mentioned previously, always back up your data. However, in this instance, nothing is going to be removed from the computer. Uh, if I want to, I can click change what to keep and I can opt to not retain user data. However, if you want to clear the laptop, I would recommend doing a clean install of Windows 10, which is explained at another point of this video series. In the meantime, I'm going to hit install. And that's now taken us to this screen here where it says installing Windows 10. 
Now it's worth noting that at the moment we're still in Windows and if I press the Windows key on the keyboard, as you can see, I can still actually escape from this, win from this installation screen and make changes. So I could turn off the screensaver and things like that. However, for now, it's going to run through this percentage bar. Then it's going to restart into a Windows Update style updating screen. And then it'll restart a, third, a second time. And at that point, we'll be back into Windows and we'll be on the final leg. So I'm going to skip forward to after all these progress bars. There's one more thing that bears mention. If you're doing this on lots of computers, uh, once you're past this screen here, once the laptop has restarted for the first time, you can disconnect your Windows 10 flash drive. However, during this section, we need to keep the flash drive connected. So I'll see you guys after the cut. Okay, we're past all of that and we've now hit the desktop again. In certain circumstances, you might get some first run wizard stuff after doing a build update if there's been specific updates to the computer. But by and large, it should just kick you back to the desktop like we're seeing here. And if I do WinVer once again, as you can now see, we're now on version 1909. All of our programs, all of our programs and our data and our preferences are all just as they were, except we're on the latest version of Windows 10. And that's how you do your build update. So obviously at this point, I'd recommend taking your laptop back online and running through Windows Update to make sure you've got any security updates that have also come out. Um, but past that, this machine is now fully up to date.